Welcome back to the Webby and O'Neill channel. Manchester United 3, Reading 1, into the next round of the FA Cup. Kick us off your overall thoughts on the team. Well, not just the team. My overall thoughts, it's simple. 73,000 people turned up on a miserable day to play a championship side. They know something we know. And what we know is Man United are back. All these players, the starting 11, the substitutes, they all want to be on the pitch. And what you're seeing out there tonight was a game of football. 11 players started and what did it? They played well. They loved the ball. The substitutes come on. They loved the ball. They loved the game. And what we've seen was good passing, good football. And I'm telling you now, there is something going on. And I know people out there, the haters will say, it's just Reading. It's a championship side. Yeah, well, it's Man United and we're back because it's clearly back. The Brazilians... What we had out there were fantastic tonight. And it was great to see Anthony being given man of the match. Now that will give some people a kick in the teeth. We did have to wait patiently as fans all to get that first goal though tonight. Yeah, well, what it was, they, were, they went for it, OK? And what it was, there was just that little bit of delicate one-twos. That's all what was missing. The balls was there, the shots was there, the effort was there. They had everyone back in the penalty area. United were just going for it. And it just needed a little bit of calm, a little bit of passing, a little bit of Casemiro, what we've seen, and Anthony in the second half to unlock them. That's all what was missing. The crowd loved it today. That first half, I think we had 35 touches in the box. They had one. And to be honest, they could have scored it. Yeah. And they should have scored it. But United there tonight were absolutely... Football, I just loved it. I did think Marcus Rashford was going to be the one to get the first goal, but it was chalked off through VAR. Do you, do you agree with that decision? <sighs> oh, God, it, it was. It, we're not doing well with VARs lately, but mm. I, t I tell you what, Rashford there, unlucky not to get that goal. Uh, but you have to look at the whole team, the way they played, mm. right? The passing, the movement was excellent. Yes, it was a poor Reading side, but you can only beat what's in front of you. OK, and we've come up against teams in the past from the championship and been beat. So at the end of the day, they did a job. Eric Ten Hag put a full side out there. Mm -hmm. He just changed Maguire and Lindelof. Apart from that, that was a full team as far as I was concerned. And they just went for it. A little bit of guile and we could have been 3-0 up in the first half. But a fantastic night for Manchester United. Yeah, Maguire come back in today. The only change, like you say, from the Forest game, how did you think he got on? Yeah, and it was easy for him. It was a stroll, him and Lindelof strolled. You know, you, you look at, the, they had the big donkey up front, didn't they? You know Andy what I mean? He got, Andy Carroll got sent off in the end, deserves to be sent off. Should have always been sent off every game he ever played because the man is just a big donkey. He's just a thug. <laughs> That's all he is. That is all he is, a thug. So at the end of the day, he got what he expected and that was sent off. But Maguire, Lindelof, easy game. And to be honest with you, I did say in the pre-match, Harry Maguire has to play tonight because if he didn't play tonight, then there was something seriously wrong. So he's still in there, he's still going and he'll be given the game time as and when Ten Hag thinks he needs to drop a few players. And he, he's, he's dropped a few, and now he's got his game. So he's there till the end of the season, at least. We've talked about Aaron wan quite a bit recently on our videos. If you if he does actually continue his current form and, and also builds on it, when Delo is fit, do you expect Eric Ten Hag to put him straight back into the starting eleven, Or will he have to fight for his place back over wan -Bissaka? No, wan will stay exactly where, it, where he is. There is no two ways about it. Because at the end of the day, when a player is on form and he's playing well and he's improving as much as Aaron wan is improving and everyone knows he's improving, yeah. then he has to stay in the team. Because to take somebody out after playing so well over a long period of time with what he's gone through, right, would destroy the kid. Mm. He deserves his place. He's moved Delo out and Delo has to wait his turn here now. Yeah. Who would be your man in the match tonight? Uh, well, they gave it Anthony. Uh, and to be honest with you, uh, I'd, give it, I'd give it Anthony for uh, all the abuses took from the media and the YouTubers and everything else. And basically anyone who hates Man United, right? And he did well tonight. Few wayward shots and that, but hey, that's Anthony. But he kept the ball, he kept the game moving, and that is what his role is: out there, wide, get the ball, keep passing it, keep moving, and bring other players into the game. And that's what he did tonight. Yeah, march on into the later rounds now. Still in uh, another couple of cup competitions: Europa <sighs> League, 
and the actual uh, Carabao Cup. So, uh, yeah, well, it's all it, looking pretty at the moment. Well, it's all looking pretty. And that's what I said at the beginning when I started the video. 73,000 people turned up, right? And it is a miserable night here at Old Trafford. But the yeah. thing is, they know something. They know what's happening here. The revolution's on. And Eric Ten Hag is bringing it. And this football is just like, I wouldn't say sexy football. It's just lovely football to watch. And what you're seeing is players who want to play for Manchester United. Not five, six players. 15, 18, 20 players want to play for Man United. And you, you can't ask for more than that. And that's how it should be. We're going here. Ten Hag's got it. And we will win a cup. We will beat Newcastle in that cup at Wembley next month. So I take it you think Newcastle are going through over Southampton. So uh, United and Newcastle in the final then? Yeah, United and Newcastle in the final. There's, there's one thing there, what, what what a lot of people out there did mention in the previous video, what I did on the pre-match, and it is Sancho. You know, we've mentioned Sancho, haven't we? Do you know yeah, what I mean? we did in our match preview. Um, there was obviously a lot of rumours, a lot of talk that he'd be actually in the squad tonight, but yeah, missing again. And I thought it'd have been an ideal game for him to come back in, to be honest. It looks an ideal game for Sancho. And I did say, when Eric Ten Hag, right, on his press conference, I thought Eric Ten Hag didn't want to answer the questions about Sancho. To me, it was clear to other YouTubers and whatever out there, they all were saying Sancho's playing. But there's no way Sancho was playing. No way at all. You have to look at the signs. You have to look at the manager. You have to look at what's going on. Sancho's in big trouble here. If he can't even get in the squad for this, then there's something wrong, something seriously wrong. But hey, I hope he turns it round. But if it carries on and he doesn't get in, in the team by the end of the season, then I, I, I honestly believe he will go. There is no reason to keep somebody who can't even get in the squad. But I hope he does sort himself out. No, some great comments there. I don't think we'll go on any longer. So no. A bit of food for thought there. Let us know what you think on Tony's comments tonight. Obviously, your own opinions as well in the chat below. Smash a like if you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you like our content. And we will be back with another video either on Sunday or definitely Monday because we'll be doing a live video with the FA Cup draw. Yes. Roundup as well of the United News in the afternoon. So get the notifications on to get the alert. Look, you've got <laughs> to understand Manchester United are back and everyone knows the back except the media and all the haters. I think the media actually know we're back. But they won't say it. Mm. They won't say it. They hate us. But let me tell you something. This crowd and United fans know we're going to win something this year. And I can't wait for one. Yeah, great achievement by Ten Hag and the lads. Enjoy your evening. Thanks for joining us. Good night.